We are live here at North Myrtle Beach High School as the JV Lady Chiefs are leading Myrtle Beach near the end of the fourth quarter, 14 to one. Young Lady Chiefs scoring early and often in this one as we get ready for senior night for the North Myrtle Beach Varsity Chiefs. Another goal there by the Junior Varsity Squad, North Myrtle Beach. We will get a look at the scoreboard here at the Hank. Nearing a minute left in the JV match, North Myrtle Beach 15, Myrtle Beach 1. Actually, I believe they're going to, they may take that goal away. We are ready for senior night, and we'll, you may hear me repeat some of this as we're getting started a little early, making sure that everything is set up. North Myrtle Beach Chiefs under fourth-year head coach Danielle Lowermore. Six years the program has been in existence here at North Myrtle Beach. This year's senior class is Coach Lowermore's. This was the her freshman group that came in with her four years ago. And that is a final North Myrtle Beach tacked one on right there at the end. So JV, girls lacrosse, North Myrtle Beach 16, Myrtle Beach 1. Shaw Ashley, the... Student assistant to the athletic director making announcements for senior night that will be upcoming here for the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs. North Myrtle Beach and Myrtle Beach have not played this year. Their earlier match this season was canceled due to Myrtle Beach not having enough players to play. Both teams kind of struggled along in the season. Myrtle Beach coming in at 0-5, North Myrtle Beach 1-8, but that one win, a 16-3 victory over West Ashley just this past Friday right here at the Hank, and that avenged an earlier loss this year in overtime where they traveled to West Ashley, and West Ashley defeated the Lady Chiefs 7-6. Gonna move the camera here, and this is a uh, one-man operation, so there won't be a whole lot of zooming in. We will, uh, we will follow. You can see the we get a tight shot there of the JV winning squad again, 16 to one over Myrtle Beach. And I will say, uh, if there is anyone from Myrtle Beach tuning in, I tried my best to get a roster today, along with uh, our athletics director, Tony Heilbrunn, but uh, we failed. So I do not have a roster for the Myrtle Beach Seahawks. So we will go with, obviously, the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs roster. Tonight, again, here, senior night for the North Myrtle Beach Lady Chiefs varsity lacrosse team. Three seniors. And Sika Mai, Graceland Tester, and Leah Levine. 
and Sika Ma. She's going to be escorted when they start senior night here. Well, actually, I'll take that back. They're going to start with Leah Levine. And she's being escorted by her parents, Loya and Scott Jackson. Actually, she's not really being escorted since she just kind of ran through the line, but here come her parents. They're, they're trying to catch up. Played three years of lacrosse. Also played four years of varsity golf here for the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs. Academic accomplishments, AB Honor Roll, National Technical Honor Society, the Key Club, HOSA, Future Health Professionals. She plans to attend Francis Marion University in the fall and major in biology and look to get her doctorate in physical therapy when that program opens in 2027. This is Ansika Ma. And Sika Mai, five years of lacrosse, she is being escorted by Han Nugent and Sarah Mai, her mother and sister. Again, five years of lacrosse, she plans to attend or is attending AAST and plans to attend Coastal Carolina and major in biology and hopes to become an optometrist. Our last senior in here on senior night for the Lady Chiefs lacrosse, Graceland Tester. She's being escorted by her parents, Jason and Kelly Tester. She has played five years of lacrosse for the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs, has also been a member of the tennis team for six years. Sorry, folks, trying to read and pan out there at the same time, but she's a, a 2023 junior marshal member of the National Honor Society, Beta Club, Social Studies National Honor Society, Mu Alpha Theta, Science National Honor Society, Academic Team, and the Interact Club. She was the Offensive Player of the Year and won the Hustle Award during her freshman year after high school. She looks to major in sports and entertainment management at the University of South Carolina. So there you have it. The three seniors for North Myrtle Beach Lady Chiefs, Leah Levine, Graceland Tester, and Ansika Ma. Now they're going to bring them in and all get together so we'll get a good shot. of the three seniors joined by their family members also head coach Daniel Lowermore and assistant coach Kyle Cavallini and as I said earlier North Myrtle Beach comes into this match one and eight Lost eight in a row before winning the last game played this past Friday here at the Hank, 16-3 to over West Ashley. Also, as I said earlier, that avenged an earlier loss, 7-6 to to West Ashley on the road. Myrtle Beach comes in winless at 0-5. Myrtle Beach lost 20-2 to Carolina Forest. The Chiefs lost to Carolina Forest 18-6. A lot of similar scores when I was uh, looking through here. North Myrtle Beach has scored quite a bit more uh, overall on the season. Teams have not yet started warming up, so we will go to a wide shot when North Myrtle takes to the field once the senior night festivities are completed, and we will let you watch warm-ups.
couple of things, other things going on here at North Myrtle Beach. We want to give a big congratulations to former athletic director Joe Quigley for being named as a Hall of Fame inductee for the South Carolina Athletic Administrators Association. Also recently, our current athletic director, Tony Heilbrunn, he was named the South Carolina Class 4A Region 6 Athletic Director of the Year by the South Carolina Athletic Administrators Association. So congratulations to our recently former leader of North Myrtle Beach Chiefs Athletics, Joe Quigley, and the current leader of the athletic department, Tony Heilbrunn, on their well-deserved honors. In fact, I uh, was just talking with Tony and then messaging with his wife on Facebook about all of the hours that have uh, that athletic directors put in. And, you know, you're looking at uh, 16, 18-hour days where, you know, not a, not a whole lot of family time, especially during the spring. A lot of sports going on. Normally, there's a lot of sports going on here at North Myrtle Beach. I sit uh, high atop the press box here at the Hank, and I look out. There is a B-team softball game going on behind us. There was baseball practice earlier, but they have finished up. And through the trees, I can see the JV tennis match that is also taking place right now. Kind of breaking news for North Myrtle Beach Chiefs fans. The 2024 football schedule was released earlier today. The 2024 season will kick off on August 23rd right here at the Hank where the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs host Goose Creek August the 30th. The Chiefs travel to Darlington. September the 6th, another road game just across the line here into North Carolina to face West Brunswick. September 13th, we're back home to play longtime rival Loris. Again, that's September 13th. September 20th, again, a home game. That one against Marlborough County. And then we start the region. New region for the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs. North Myrtle Beach Chiefs have now moved up to 5A along with Myrtle Beach. And we have the beach region. Long time coming. Just about every school along the beach. And um, my buddy Ashley Smith, who does radio for Conway High School, he, he wants to call it the Rivertown region just because they're not beach boys. But so we're going to uh, we're this is the this is the beach region and our plus one is Conway. So we will open up at Conway on October the 4th. Back home on October 11th against Sockesty. Two games on the road, October 18th at Carolina Forest, October 25th at St. James. And then we finish up November 1st hosting the Myrtle Beach Seahawks. So again, the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs up in classification now to 5A. Myrtle Beach, I think North Myrtle Beach was the third smallest 5A school when they completed reclassification. And Myrtle Beach is the second smallest 5A school. So uh, it's going to going to be very interesting for the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs once we start region play. It's great for the fans, and this isn't only obviously for football. This is every sport. All of our region games are now close enough. I mean, we're 30 minutes away from the furthest one, which would be Conway. So uh, we look to have, and North Myrtle Beach usually does. We travel well. Our fans really support us, support the kids. It's great when we go on the road and we look across when we're broadcasting football games. We look across, and a lot of times we've got as many people in the stands as 
some of the home teams. So, again, across all sports means that our fans get to see basically every game within a half hour of home. It's great for the athletic departments because it's great for the travel budget. I know, uh, you know, it may mean that we need to go on the road a little more or we have to travel a little bit further uh, for some of the non-region games because some of those non-region opponents are now region members. But I think overall we're going to see those budgets uh, expensed a little less. And I think uh, for your sports that garner um, they garner more fans coming to the games, those are really going to be a revenue boost for all of the athletic departments here in Horry County since the fans can go to more of the road games being closer. We are just 11 minutes, a little over 11 minutes here from kickoff, North Myrtle Beach. Sorry, it's not really kickoff. Uh, that would be that would be from the opening draw. Right at 11 minutes now, North Myrtle Beach hosting Myrtle Beach in girls lacrosse again senior night for North Myrtle Beach. We're going to go through, take a look at the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs roster, learn a little bit about these ladies. Number one, Bella White. Two years of lacrosse. She has two goals in this, her first season as an offensive player. Bella is a junior. A lot of young talent on this North Myrtle Beach team. Number two, a sophomore, Sarah Mai. She is in her second year of lacrosse. Number four, sophomore Camden Cavallini. Her second year of lacrosse, she leads the team defensively in forced turnovers. Number five, sophomore, Jalen Foucher. This is her first year of lacrosse. Number six, a sophomore, McKenna Daly, also her first year of lacrosse. Another sophomore, number seven, Nadia Gore. This is Nadia's second year of lacrosse. Number eight, Yet another sophomore. We're on a string here. That's uh, seven or six in a row. We're going to have seven here in just a second. But number eight is Ava Patel. Second year of lacrosse. She leads the team in assist. She leads the team in draw wins. She scored 17 points this season. And back in December, she was North Myrtle Beach High School's student spotlight winner. Number nine. I said we were going to keep running with sophomores here, and we do with J.R.A. Gore, her second year of lacrosse, also two years as a cheerleader here at North Myrtle Beach. Number 10 is junior Jackie McCarthy. She's in her third year of lacrosse, first season this year, moving up front to a forward position. Number 11, one of the seniors that was honored moments ago, Ansika Ma. This is her fourth year of lacrosse for the Chiefs. She was the lacrosse offensive player of the year as a sophomore. She's played six years of tennis also for the Lady Chiefs. Number 12, sophomore Tyra Green, second year of lacrosse. She is also a member of the NMB girls wrestling team. First time that she wrestled this year. First year, I believe, that we've had a wrestling uh, girls wrestling team. Number 13, another senior that was honored moments ago, Gracie Tester. Gracie, her fourth year of lacrosse here at North Myrtle Beach, she has an 82% draw win percentage this year. And the last senior that was recognized, number 24, Leah Levine. Her third year of lacrosse for the Chiefs. In goal is a freshman, Jasmine Watts. This is her first year of lacrosse for the North Myrtle Beach program. She has 16 saves. She also played JV basketball this year. Again, your head coach, Danielle Lowermore. Assistant coach, Kyle Cavallini. Got 
got a couple of text uh well at least something that i've said tonight is is a it's a learning process for um for uh mr weiss eric weiss if you listen to our football broadcast he is our quality control guru make sure that uh make sure we're on the air of course we're not on radio tonight but we are live on facebook and youtube but uh got a couple of uh texts that um i didn't know we had a girls wrestling team so uh we did we had one that uh qualified for states unfortunately i do apologize i cannot remember the young lady's name right now but i know that she did extremely well qualifying for states in her first year as the teams now have come to the sidelines and folks if you are a veteran to lacrosse you are listening to someone who is not I do know what they're doing right now is they are checking the depth of the pockets on the sticks, making sure that they are all legal. The other night when I was here for a JV game, I was down in the end zone and I couldn't see the officials. And they, the girls were kind of, they would walk up and then they would cheer and run out and high five sticks. And I thought they were just like announcing each other. There was no PA system. But um, now I found out tonight exactly what they were doing. Also got a little bit of a lesson. The difference, uh, there are several differences between girls and boys lacrosse, but one of them is because of the uh, boys' play being more physical, the pockets on the sticks are a little deeper so that they can hold on to the ball a little easier. Now I'm hearing Shaw Ashley announcing starting lineups, which means he's got a Myrtle Beach roster. So I'm going to set my headset down and run down and take a picture of said roster. So maybe I'll at least be able to talk about Myrtle Beach some. North Myrtle Beach's starters now being announced. And as soon as Shaw Ashley completed announcing the starting lineup for the Myrtle Beach Seahawks, he now no longer has a Myrtle Beach Seahawks roster because I stole it. He really gave it to me, but I did kind of pull it before I think he was going to throw it in the trash can. The 
Finishing up the starting lineups. Number nine, Jara Gore. Number seven, now Nadia Gore being announced as a starter. Number 12, Tyra Green. Number 12, another sophomore, Tyra Green. Number six, McKenna Daly, yet another sophomore. Number five is Jalen Foucher, and in goal will be freshman Jasmine Watts. I'm going to take a break here, and I will turn this up so we can listen to the national anthem. Getting ready. I've got hours. Thank you. Getting ready for the opening draw here at the Hank. North Myrtle Beach. All white uniforms, blue, big blue numbers outlined in Chiefs gold. Myrtle Beach. And their green uniforms, gold numbers. North Myrtle Beach will be attacking left to right. In for the opening draw for the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs is Gracie Tester again. She has won 82% of the draws this year. Referee blows the whistle and balls up. North Myrtle Beach Chiefs win and will be on offense first, going again left to right. And Sika Ma driving down, foul called. About 22 yards out. And Sika Ma. Rolls towards the middle. She stopped. She got the pass off to Gracie Tester. Tester took a shot. It was wide over the top. Going to be controlled, though, behind the goal by the Chiefs. And in with the goal, Ava Patel. Ava Patel comes from behind. Gets in to the eight and takes the shot. Bounces in the first goal. 11 minutes, six seconds to go. Here in the first quarter, Chiefs take 
that one to nothing lead. Gracie Tester again for the Chiefs back and is going to the Chiefs will lose this draw. Foul called there against the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs. Myrtle Beach progressing forward. Inside 20 yards. Foul whistled against the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs. It is Kalia Christian for the Seahawks. Wearing number one. Myrtle Beach Seahawks lining up. Some play where they've got four stacked. Chiefs do well defensively. Myrtle Beach able to corral it now. Running towards the goal there for the Myrtle Beach Seahawks was Amara Rhodes. Chiefs were able to stop her. They're outside the 12. Whistle blows for the foul. Myrtle Beach working the ball around the outside. Now swings it over to the far side. Folks, it's real hard for me to look down and give you Myrtle Beach's names. I do have a roster now. I can at least get goals, but the roster is not in numerical order. So while they're passing the ball around and I'm looking, they just keep passing it. So can hopefully view online, follow along with the play. The Chiefs so far able to keep Myrtle Beach outside of the eight. There they attack. I think a foul was called there inside the eight. We're going to have a free position, Myrtle Beach. I believe that is Amira Rhodes. Lined up on the far side. Referee trying to make sure that all the players are outside of the 8s and 12s. I'm waiting to check the number. That was a goal by Myrtle Beach. And that was Amari Rhodes, co-captain for the Myrtle Beach Seahawks. Seven minutes, 57 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Score now knotted 1 1. This will be the third draw of the match. Gracie Tester for the Chiefs won the first one, was not able to win the second one. Ball is up in the air. Myrtle Beach is again going to come away with it, and they are on the attack, moving right to left. Ball's free. We're going to have a ground ball. That ground ball picked up successfully by the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs. That's Camden Cavallini. Cavallini's pass. Now is the Chiefs cross midfield. Making the run here is Sarah Ma. Foul is whistled. That's going to go against North Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach back on the attack, but a turnover. 
Making a run now. The Chiefs making a run. Get the ball inside the eight. Trying to work the ball around in front of the crease. That shot by North Myrtle Beaches. Bella White goes into the side of the goal. Myrtle Beach goalkeeper picks it up. A couple of Chiefs there trying to block her. She gets the ball out. And Myrtle Beach now back on the attack. Long pass by the Seahawks. That one not going to work out. And here comes North Myrtle Beach again. Right up the middle of the field comes number 11 and Sika Ma. And the Chiefs, five minutes, 58 seconds to go here in the first quarter. North Myrtle Beach now with the two to one lead over the Myrtle Beach Seahawks. Now taking the draw for North Myrtle Beach, number eight, Ava Patel. We'll do that draw again as the ball did not go up in the air. Ava Patel for the Chiefs. Ball's up in the air, North Myrtle Beach. That was North Myrtle Beach's Gracie Tester going for the ball as she went for the ball, was hit by a Myrtle Beach player, foul called. Chiefs have the ball on the attack. Rolling around to the right is Gracie Tester. Foul is called against the Seahawks. Gracie Tester now working inside. She comes around back. She's Gracie Tester was coming around looking for that crease roll to come in on the back side. Was stopped by the Myrtle Beach Seahawks. Ball turns over to Myrtle Beach. This is kind of dangerous as the Myrtle Beach keeper comes way out, lets it go, and she has to rush to get back in as North Myrtle Beach intercepts the pass. A shot by Sarah Ma was saved by Isabella Huiz. The Chiefs again with an interception and again on the attack. Myrtle Beach running down the far side. Foul is going to be called against North Myrtle Beach Chiefs. Play continues on. Myrtle Beach Seahawks now working inside the 20. And a great job by the defense of the Chiefs. Well, maybe not so great as the official on the far side about 25 yards behind the play, calls a foul. Myrtle Beach, about 20 yards out from goal. Continues their offense. That pass from the Seahawks. Going back behind the goal, got away from the Myrtle Beach offensive player in the out of bounds. The Chiefs pick it up, now making a run down the far sideline. Nice pass. 
On the run comes the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs. Big attack coming right up the middle for North Myrtle Beach. Ball knocked away, but again, North Myrtle Beach able to pick it up. Tester rolling around the right side. And that is Sarah Ma made the spin move back to the middle, and as she spun, ball comes out of her pocket. Picked up by Myrtle Beach going the other way. Foul called at midfield. No rest taken on the fouls. That whistle blows, and the offensive teams most of the time are right back on attack. For Myrtle Beach, that's Ella Condor. She passes it over to Amari Rhodes. Myrtle Beach now on the far side works the ball around to the back. That was Calla Christian behind. She tried to work the ball into the middle, knocked away by the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs, and it's still loose. Sticks flying everywhere. Ball's loose. Nice ground ball pickup by Myrtle Beach. They're going to call a foul against North Myrtle Beach. For the Chiefs, that was McKenna Daly coming in from the back with the foul. Myrtle Beach again works the ball into the middle. Made a little spin move, lost it, and there to pick it up. Well, the Chiefs now running down the far side, passing midfield. For North Myrtle Beach, that is Ansika Ma. Ansika, a little spin move there, rolls towards the left side of the goal, now to the middle, and Ansika Ma. With the goal, will give the Chiefs a 3-1 to one lead, 39 seconds to play here in the first quarter. And see Kamai got the ball on the far side. Made a really nice spin move coming back to the middle. Officials were getting together, not sure what that was for, but another draw coming up at midfield. To get that ball balanced on the sticks. Official backs up, blows the whistle, balls up. North Myrtle Beach will win this draw, and they are taking off on attack once again. North Myrtle Beach with the shot. Saved that time by Isabella Ruiz. North Myrtle Beach appeared to have stolen the ball, but I think they were saying that the goalie had the ball still in the crease. If that goalie is in the crease, no one can touch her. No one is allowed in the crease but the goalie. And the alien horn goes off, and the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs, at the end of the first quarter, hold that three to one lead over Myrtle Beach. Lady Chiefs lacrosse on senior night. Once again, during this break, we are going to take a look at the three seniors. These three seniors all came or were all playing as freshmen during coach Danielle Lowermore's first season. We've got number 11, Ansika Ma. Five years of lacrosse here at North Myrtle Beach. We've only had lacrosse 
four, six years. She's been a member of the squad, four or five of those. She plays club lacrosse for the Myrtle Beach Lightning lacrosse team. Also has played six years of tennis here at North Myrtle Beach. And she was the offensive player of the year during her sophomore season. She attends to plan a great university, Coastal Carolina University, major in biology as she wants to become an optometrist. Number 13, Graceland Tester, five years of lacrosse as well here at North Myrtle Beach. Also six years on the tennis team. She was the player of the offensive player of the year and won the Hustle Award as a freshman. We'll move the camera so you can take a look at Coach Danielle as her and uh, assistant coach Kyle Cavallini talk things over with the Chiefs before the start of the second quarter. Going back to Graceland Tester, the academic accomplishments uh, were rather lengthy. Lengthy, 2023 Junior Marshall, member of the National Honor Society, the Beta Club, Social Studies National Honor Society, Mu Alpha Theta, Science National Honor Society, the academic team, and a member of the Interact Club. She looks to major in sports and entertainment management at the University of South Carolina. Our last senior was Leah Levine. Three years of lacrosse, four years of varsity golf here at North Myrtle Beach. She looks to attend Francis Marion University in the fall. And is going to be a biology major. She is looking to get accredited for the new doctorate in physical therapy that will start at Francis Marion in 2027. So good luck to those young ladies, not only obviously tonight and finishing up their high school career, but with their future college plans. As we get set to start the second quarter, North Myrtle Beach 3, Myrtle Beach 1, And that draw will be retaken. Ava Patel for the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs. Ball did not get up in the air. The sticks have to be perfectly parallel. Ball has to sit. And then when he blows the whistle, when the official blows the whistle, the ball has to go up in the air on the draw. Foul has been called. I'm not too sure. They were still kind of battling for the loose ball. A couple of North Myrtle Beach Chiefs helping off a Myrtle Beach Seahawk player. We get to see athletic trainer Krista Culinary in action. Told Krista I was going to steal that Chiefs jacket that she's got. Myrtle Beach player coming off the field. Appears to be her left ankle. Play will resume momentarily here. 11 minutes, 33 seconds to play here in the second quarter. North Myrtle Beach 3, Myrtle Beach 1. Patrick Gerard, the ticket manager over at Coastal Carolina. I don't know whether it's good or bad because I can't see how many views I have, Patrick. So uh, I know at least one person's watching because you are. North Myrtle Beach on the attack. 
That ground ball still on the ground. It's going to be finally picked up near midfield by Ava. Ava gets the ball to the middle for the Chiefs. Ball out around the top of the 12-yard box. Now the Chiefs working around behind the goal. Coming in, nice save by Myrtle Beach. Point blank shot by Gracie Tester for the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs and was saved by Isabella Duiz. Chiefs were able to get the ball back, but shot goes wide. Myrtle Beach going to take over as the ball went out of bounds. Myrtle Beach during the second quarter now attacking left to right. Goalkeeper being well defended by a couple of jumping sticks. She gets the ball out near midfield. Ball on the ground and controlled by the Seahawks. Myrtle Beach now making a run, attacking Ball knocked loose. Ball now controlled for the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs. I was told that these aren't turnovers. They're interceptions as I was being, um, but Not sure how it's an interception. If it's rolling around on the ground, you know, I'm a, I'm a football guy. The interception's got to be in the air. North Myrtle Beach trying, trying to continue on the tack, but the referee is calling back North Myrtle Beach's Gracie Tester. Ball now on the ground once again. And it is scooped up by Myrtle Beach's Nicole Anderson. Nicole making a run, has the ball knocked away, turns around, picks it up. She gets the ball wide on the far side. When you're a one-man show and forget to move the camera, sorry about that, folks. Myrtle Beach made a run. They are going to have a free position here as the foul was called inside the eight. And that shot by Myrtle Beach goes over the top, and it's going to be kept in for the Seahawks. The North Myrtle Beach Chiefs thought the ball was out. They all stopped. Not stopping was Myrtle Beach captain, Kalia Christian, she was one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and scores to pull this to within one point now, three to two. Chiefs again scoring all their goals. It was three to one at the end of the first quarter. That, the first goal scored here in the second quarter. Lining up for the draw at midfield. Ball's up in the air in the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs. Win this draw, and we are quickly on the attack. Foul called against the Seahawks. Chiefs have the ball about 25 yards out. Continuing on the Chiefs' attacks, Jackie McCarthy. Myrtle Beach able to knock the ball away. That was Myrtle Beach's Kimber Kimberly Marston. She was able to get it away from her, but then ball went out of bounds. Chiefs pick it up for the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs. Driving in towards the goal was Bella White.
Bella now fouled inside the eight free position for the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs. Bella White holding the ball on the near side. A good shot of Bella getting ready for this free position. She takes a shot and it's saved. Ball gets away, but again, quickly corralled by the Myrtle Beach keeper, Isabella Juiz. Keeper gets the ball out to the middle of the field and kind of got a rugby scrum going on, but picked up by the Chiefs, and the Chiefs back on the attack. Just under six minutes to go here in the second quarter. Foul called against Myrtle Beach. Chiefs maintain possession, but quickly have it knocked away in Myrtle Beach on the far side of the field on the attack. And a yellow card has been issued. That yellow card goes to North Myrtle Beach is Sarah Ma. Not sure what she hit. I saw Sarah's stick come down trying to knock the ball away. She obviously hit something other than the ball. Gets a yellow card, comes off. Myrtle Beach on the attack. Coming into the middle inside the eight. Defense for the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs is there, knocked away. It's picked up by Camden Cavallini. Myrtle Beach able to knock the ball away from her and now continues the attack. Here on the near side, Kanisha Adams. Kanisha Adams works her way behind the goal. Passes the ball over to, I believe, that was Ella Condor. Nice defense by North Myrtle Beach. Knocking the ball away for the Chiefs was Jackie McCarthy but unable to secure the ball, Myrtle Beach is going to keep possession and back on attack just outside the 12. Again, the whistle. Again, a foul called against North Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach walking, working behind the net rolling around all the way around the outside of the eight whistle blue not sure what the call was but some infraction against the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs Kanisha Adams standing out about 14 yards out. Kanisha works around to the right. She's going to pass the ball. Passes it behind the net. Looks like she's going to get that to Ella Condor. Ella rolled out around the outside and then got the ball into the pouch of Kalia Christian. Kalia Christian works around back out top. She's at the top of the 12-yard box working inside. They're going to call that foul against Jackie McCarthy of the Chiefs. Kalia Christian made a nice move trying to get 
inside the scoring area. Kalia attacking. This time fouled by the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs, Addison. Sorry, that is not Addison Berger. Uh, saw a wrong number, but free position for the Chiefs, Kalia Christian. On the attack, her shot wide to the right. I was going to say, they said that ball was out of bounds. The Myrtle Beach player doesn't believe it. Yes, she believes it now because she doesn't have the ball. Long pass for the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs. Ball out to midfield. Was trying to be picked up by Gracie Tester. Tester unable to pick it up. Myrtle Beach is going to have the ball. And again, on the attack, one minute, 10 seconds remaining. Here in the second quarter, North Myrtle Beach leads Myrtle Beach here at the Hank, three to two. Myrtle Beach on the attack, just outside the 12. Myrtle Beach again going to line up for a play. That's Nicole Anderson at the point with the ball. Anderson rolls to the right, tries to get a shot off. It's blocked. Picking the ball up is Kalia Christian. She works her way around the back. Kalia Christian worked her way around the back side, got the pass. I'm trying to get the number on that goal. Continues running with the ball. That is number five. So it was Captain Kalia Christian to her co-captain, Amari Rhodes. And with 17 seconds to play here in the first half, Myrtle Beach has knotted the score 3-3. On the draw for the Chiefs is Jackie McCarthy. The Chiefs win this one quickly on the attack. Seven, six, five, shot, save. Point blank shot by McCarthy again, saved by Isabella Ruiz. So that will take us to half North Myrtle Beach three. Myrtle Beach three. Folks, we'll let you look at the scoreboard for a few minutes as it counts down. We'll be back with second half action here on senior night, North Myrtle Beach. Girls lacrosse, three to three with the rivals, Myrtle Beach Seahawks. We'll be back with you in about nine minutes.
back here at the Hank North Myrtle Beach High School. Getting set for second half action as you see the scoreboard just under a minute to go. Myrtle Beach scored that late goal there in the first half to tie the match at 3-3. Again, as we stated during the pregame, this is the first and only matchup between these two programs this year. The earlier, earlier match this season was canceled due to, I believe there was some sicknesses within the Myrtle Beach program, and they did not have enough players to play the match that night. Set to take the draw for North Myrtle Beach, number 13, Gracie Tester. The Chiefs will be attacking right to left. Tester will win. And the Chiefs on the first attack here in the second half. Taken down from behind, foul called against... Myrtle Beach Seahawks. Chiefs attacking, rolling now behind the goal. On the pass, ball loose, picked up by North Myrtle Beach. That ball was picked up by North Myrtle Beach's Tyra Green. Got away from her, picked up by the Isabella Tuiz. The keeper for the Myrtle Beach Seahawks gets the ball out. Myrtle Beach quickly now working on the attack. That's a terrible whistle. I don't really know why it was a terrible whistle, but a lot of the parents were yelling. So it had to be a bad whistle. North Myrtle Beach, though, gets the turnover just as Tester was starting going the other way. Myrtle Beach whistle for the foul. Whistle, foul, whistle twice with the foul. The Chiefs keep rolling down the sidelines. Nice run by North Myrtle Beach's McKenna Daly. Sophomore, number six. For the Chiefs, being talked to by head coach Danielle Lowermore. North Myrtle Beach now in to the crease just before reaching the crease. That is a goal for the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs. And Shaw Ashley found the button for the lights here at North Myrtle Beach. North Myrtle takes the lead now, four to three, nine minutes, 46 seconds to play here in the third quarter. Like to say hello to my old buddy Smitty, Craig Smith. Listening in. So we're going to have a timeout here on the field. Both teams going to their respective sidelines. Smitty, not sure whether he is at his house here in North Myrtle Beach or in the big metropolis of Cassett, South Carolina. We had to convert Smitty to a North Myrtle Beach Chiefs fan years ago. He uh, tunes into all of our football games. And now catching us on some North Myrtle Beach girls lacrosse. And the Chiefs take that 4-3 to lead coming out of the timeout. 
looking to control this draw and get back on the attack. Ball's up, free rolling on the ground. Ground ball will be taken, picked up by Myrtle Beach. Nice little spin move there. A turnover caused by Amari Rhodes as she started the attack for Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach now the ball on the ground outside the 12. Chiefs going to be called for a foul. The, uh, the official was trying to, like, slowly set everybody up, and everybody just went running, and he just kind of shrugged and, ah, play on. Myrtle Beach working the ball around just inside the 12, now back outside. Around the perimeter goes the ball. Now over to the far side. Myrtle Beach patient in working this ball, number one over there on the far side. Of course, they don't have a number one on their roster. Ball now at the top of the 12, knocked away by the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs. Controlled by Myrtle Beach's Kalia Christian. Controlled the ball at the top of the key. Passes to the lower left. Again, Myrtle Beach. Very slow on the attack, working the ball around. And that was number one, getting into the inside the eight. The eight-yard box, the Chiefs. Whistle for a foul. That will be a free position for number one. I said they didn't have a number one. I was getting ready to call in Antwerp Diamond, which if you're familiar with our football broadcast, Antwerp Diamond has played for uh, many a teams over the last 20 years. But number one is Nicole Anderson. I just can't see. Nicole Anderson takes the free position. She took a shot, hit off the post, and then picked up by Jasmine Watts, the keeper for North Myrtle Beach. Jasmine Watts way out of the goal. As she rolled, she has picked the ball up. Now she is pretty far off from her. From the goal here, she gets a pass off. Dangerous, picked up by Myrtle Beach. North Myrtle Beach able to knock it away. That's number seven for Myrtle Beach on the far side. She gets it to Kalia. She's working her way around from the back. Now inside the eight. Now being forced out by the Chiefs. I think they're calling a three-second penalty. Nope. That was another foul inside the eight. Free position coming up for Myrtle Beach. Shot attempt there by Kalia Christian was knocked away from behind by the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs, and the Chiefs are quickly on the attack, rolling down past midfield. For North Myrtle Beach, that was Ansika Ma. She lost the ball. Myrtle Beach had it, but Ansika comes from behind, gets the ball back, and the Chiefs now back on the attack, working on the near side. For North Myrtle Beach, that is Ava Patel. Ava Patel with a pass right behind the goal, rolling towards the front. Is Ansika Mai. She took a shot. Blocked by the keeper. 
And Sika picked it back up. Believe they have called a foul. Was it inside the eight? I believe it was. There's going to be another free position shot. And Sika Ma with the free position. Running in, she stopped by the defense of Myrtle Beach. And Myrtle Beach quickly just hands the ball to the keeper who was inside the crease. Once again, ball inside the crease. No one can touch her. The Chiefs get the turnover, though, and they are right back on the attack. North Myrtle Beach's Ava Patel. Controlling the ball. Now over to Ansika Mai. Ansika Mai about 20, 25 yards out. Gets the ball to Tester. Chiefs making a move inside the eight. Now back behind the goal. Gets the ball to Nadia Gore. Ball was loose. Nadia Gore trying to pick it up, and she is taken down by Kalia Christian of Myrtle Beach. That will be a foul. Chiefs take over possession. Kalia Christian shoving her way through the North Myrtle Beach attack. That is a slashing call against Myrtle Beach. Chiefs take over. And quickly back on the attack is Bella White. Bella White rolling behind the goal, looking for an open teammate. She finds Tester. Tester works inside the eight. And for North Myrtle Beach, Gracie Tester with the goal. North Myrtle Beach takes the 5-3 advantage over Myrtle Beach. Two minutes, 58 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Great job by Bella White working behind the goal there as she came around to the far side looking for an open teammate she found Gracie Tester, and Gracie quickly makes the move, gets inside the 12, bounces the ball past the keeper for the goal. Spent a lot of money for those lights for referees not to like them. Do it during football games. Nobody's got a problem with it. Do it during the girls lacrosse game. And North Myrtle Beach takes control after the draw. Tester again working inside the eight. Whistle blows. Another free position for the Chiefs. Gracie Tester, who just scored to put the Chiefs up 5-3, has the ball. Coming in on goal, point blank at the keeper. Great save there by Isabella Tuiz. Really don't know if it was a great save. She uh, she was either going to save it or get plucked in the head. But she's able to get the ball out. Well, evidently, I say she was able to get the ball out, but the officials are calling for the ball to be brought back to the Myrtle Beach end.
And it's going to be North Myrtle Beach's ball. The Chiefs taking control behind the goal. As Myrtle Beach tried to clear North Myrtle Beach. Intercepted the pass. And Sika Ma had a shot. It was knocked away. Myrtle Beach takes over. Trying to pick up the ground ball. And picking up that ground ball for the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs. I was told that she wasn't going to play, but that is number 15, Addison Berger. Addison was recovering from a leg injury, did not think she was going to play. She is on the field for the Chiefs. Foul called, North Myrtle Beach on the attack. That's Tester. Tester with the shot. And Gracie Tester with another goal. Chiefs now 6-3. to three. Lead over the Myrtle Beach Seahawks. Folks, I forgot when I came back at halftime, I learned something. Talking to Shaw Ashley, I told you earlier that North Myrtle Beach was uh, 0 and 8 until last Friday when they picked up a 16 to 3 win over West Ashley. What I did not know, not only was that the first win of the season, that was the first win in the six year program of the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs. And it came again against West Ashley, where North Myrtle Beach former athletic director. Joe Quigley is now working as he was asked to go down there and help out with that program a couple of years ago. But Coach Quigley will be retiring again and returning to grandfather life full time. On the attack again for the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs after they controlled the draw a turnover. And that's the end of the quarter. I did not hear the horn go off, but quarter is over. And we're going to go to the final 12-minute quarter, North Myrtle Beach 6, Myrtle Beach 3. So once again, as I was saying, this is the sixth year of the program for the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs. It's the fourth year for head coach Danielle Lowermore. And last Friday night, the Lady Chiefs won the first game in program history, and it was a big win, 16-3 to over West Ashley. So, obviously, not only are the Chiefs looking for win number two on the season, win number two of the program and first region win tonight, again, leading 6-3 to as we will enter the Final 12 minutes. Look at the nice new scoreboard. Yes, it's not really new now. You see Elliot Realty up there in the right on that ad, and a lot of the advertisers of the Chief Sports Network. Camera wanting to move by itself. A lot of the advertisers of our Chief Sports Network obviously supporting the Chiefs in multiple ways, as do the many many of the businesses here in North Myrtle Beach. But Elliott Realty last year, uh, Rick Elliott, longtime supporter of the Chief Sports Network, and he really stepped up and said, you know, what, what can I do? What more do you need? And having to buy a lot of new equipment and, uh, you know, Rick really stepped up and, um, and and assisted with that. So we don't really have, quote, any sponsors for any of these spring events that we're doing, um, uh, going to do as 
many as I can here. Uh, kind of a crazy schedule during the spring and now having to or now serving as the official scorekeeper also for Coastal Baseball. And uh, they just finished uh, having their first 20 games at home. So looking forward to a nice little break from driving over to the Palace over in Conway every day or what seems like every day. Anyway, we will uh, we will definitely get some shout outs and mentions and thank yous to those sponsors because even though they are, you know, not quote sponsoring the spring broadcast, it's it's the money that you know they 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 pay during football season that helped buy this equipment that we are using and and obviously allows allows me to be able to do this. Draw set to start off the fourth quarter. Balls up in the air, controlled by Tester for the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs. She's off to the races. Chiefs going right to left here in the fourth quarter. Oop. Tester lost the ball just as she got into the eight-yard crease. And Myrtle Beach now coming back. Got the ball to midfield, but the Chiefs have gotten a turnover, and once again, the Chiefs heading back the other way. Fast and furious for the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs. That's number 11. And Sika Ma made a nice move right near the top of the 12-yard circle. She was fouled. Play resumes. Nice pass inside. And Sika Ma with a great pass there to North Myrtle Beach's Gracie Tester. And for Gracie Tester, that is her third consecutive goal. Four goals in the game now for Tester. If, I don't know if you heard one of the parents yell beautiful pass, and it was Ansika Ma with a great pass inside to Tester. And there you see number 13, Gracie Tester, lining up for the draw. And the Chiefs withdraw control. That is... Ava Ma... Or I'm sorry, Ava Patel. Ava Patel had control there. And Sika Ma controlling the ball up top. Passes over to Tester. Tester looks for White. White behind the goal working. Now directly behind the goal. Chiefs not only looking to obviously pass to a open player, but you know letting the letting the clock roll a little bit is not a bad thing either. The pass from Tester was intercepted by the keeper. Keeper for Myrtle Beach got it out. Myrtle Beach now after a foul whistled on a breakaway cross midfield. Another foul whistled against the Chiefs. Myrtle Beach attacking just outside the 12. Myrtle Beach swings it to the far side. Ball gets away. Myrtle Beach player scoops it up. Run being made. Gets just inside the 12 and is stopped by the Chiefs defense. Ball's knocked away. Myrtle Beach controls. Myrtle Beach again, working the ball around on the far side. That pass inside the eight, intercepted 
by the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs. I believe that was Jackie McCarthy in defense there. Jackie picks the ball up, was on the move, taking it out, was basically tackled by three Myrtle Beach players. The Chiefs now back on the attack. Inside the eight, the shot off the post. This ball is going to, after hitting the post, rolls out of bounds. Myrtle Beach will take over in their own end. Nope. They say that Myrtle Beach touched it. Kind of surprised the referee didn't pull a card out there as aggressive as he was with the whistles. Shot point blank saved again by Isabella Ruiz. I'm going to tell you, the Myrtle Beach keeper has had a heck of a game for the Seahawks. It's a 7-3 to three lead for the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs, and that lead could be a lot more if it was not for the Myrtle Beach keeper. Myrtle Beach, the ball loose. They're going to pick it up and attack against the Chiefs going left to right here on the far side. The ball again loose, and again, the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs get the turnover. Tester now. They're in the middle of the field. She's coming down, makes a little turn, goes to the far side. Pass to White. White works around behind the goal. Looking for an open teammate. She tries. She tried to hit uh, Ansika Ma right in front of the goal, but the goalkeeper was able to get her stick on it, gets it out, and Myrtle Beach on a fast break coming the other way. Got inside the 12, ball gets loose. Picked up by Myrtle Beach's Nicole Anderson. That is going to be a slashing call and going to be a card. That's against North Myrtle Beach's Sarah Ma. Sarah comes out. Six minutes, three seconds to go in the match. North Myrtle Beach, seven. Myrtle Beach, three. Myrtle Beach's Nicole Anderson will control as the ball is put back into play. She's about 20 yards out. Moves over directly out in front of the goal. Chiefs defense setting up. There's an easy foul. Called against Myrtle Beach's Kanisha Adams. She lost control of the ball. And for North Myrtle Beach, that was Jackie McCarthy collected the turnover and then was just shoved down from behind. The Chiefs now controlling the ball, coming out of the back, nearing midfield, pass up the field. It's controlled at the 25. Dropped her stick, easy or able to pick the ball back up. And as she was trying to pick the ball back up, slashing called. North Myrtle Beach maintains possession. Right down the middle of the field now, swinging to the near side. For North Myrtle Beach, that is Tyra Green. Tyra Green trying to get it to Tester, lost control of the ball. Myrtle Beach now quickly coming the other way. This is Nicole Anderson. 
A lot of speed gets inside the eight, and she is going to be taken down. Free position coming up. Nicole Anderson carried a lot of speed coming down the near side and then just went straight into the box. And as she got inside the eight, she was hit by two Chiefs players. Anderson's going to have the ball right at the top of the key. She runs straight in, and her shot way over the goal. From the way she followed through with her stick coming downward, I think that she was going to try and just throw it into the ground and try to bounce it in. Ball came out of the top of the stick and flew feet over the goal. Three minutes, 38 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. Again, North Myrtle Beach 7, Myrtle Beach 3. Chiefs will control ball, put back into play. Long run down the sideline for the Chiefs. Defense parting like the Red Sea, and she just keeps going. Foul called, clock stop, three minutes, 12 seconds. Athletic trainer Krista Culinary, head coach Danielle Lowermore. Back out on the field for the downed North Myrtle Beach Chiefs player. Unable to get the number, but again, three minutes, 12 seconds. To go here in the match, Chiefs leading seven to three. It was Jackie McCarthy that went down. Jackie McCarthy back up, not going to come out. She's good to go. North Myrtle Beach coach and Athletic trainer coming off the field. Actually, Jackie is going to have to come off since the trainer went on. Jackie, a defender. She's the one that picked the ball up, came all the way down the sideline before she was taken out about 10 yards out from the goal. Chiefs in attack. That is Ansika Ma. Ansika Ma to Patel. Patel with the shot and the goal. Ava Patel for the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs. Adds a little more cushion to that score. Eight to three now, North Myrtle Beach. Two minutes, 53 seconds to go in the match. Ava Patel made a nice move up top. And gives the Chiefs an 8-3 to three advantage. Timeout, Myrtle Beach. This is one of those timeouts you call it because you got it. Because chances of you scoring five goals in 253 when you've played, what, roughly 46 minutes of a match. And only scored three goals. Last couple of goals really padded the score well for North Myrtle Beach.
as I look through my text messages, not only is Craig Smith watching, but he has his North Myrtle Beach Chiefs shirt on. Again, Craig Smith, longtime friend of mine, played baseball at Coastal Carolina, um, lives in Cassett, South Carolina. But So not only is he watching, but he's watching in his Steeler shirt and his former head coach Matt Real autographed football helmet. Once again, I'd like to thank Eric Weiss, quality control for all of our broadcast. And uh, Eric, I think that we have worked out our issues. Now we've still got to, we're going to work on it uh, when we've got longer runs. Right now I'm up on top of the press box and I'm actually right beside the camera, so I'm using a very short cord. But uh, we think that our buffering issues and our issues of not being able to get on there at the end of the football season were because of the long HDMI cables that we were using and uh, just breaking down and um, then breaking down quickly. Uh, pretty expensive cords and you get, you know, don't even get a full game out of them. On the draw here as we start back, two minutes, 49 seconds, still battling for control. And the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs are going to take control. Ava won that battle. And the Chiefs with the possession, but, well, Myrtle Beach had it, North, and then they turned it right back over. Back and forth we go, but Myrtle Beach is going to end up with it. They're across midfield, making the run for... The Seahawks is Ava Wilson. Ava loses the ball, though. The Chiefs right back to pick it up. They call the foul on the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs. McKenna Daly. But again, the Chiefs with a turnover. And again, back on attack. Comes the Chiefs. And Sikamai holding the ball. Clock running just under a minute and 30 seconds now. Chiefs in control of this one, eight to three. Outcome is assured. Final score might not be, though, as the Chiefs Working inside the 12, inside the 8. Shot wide. And that was North Myrtle Beach's Ava Patel. Did a great job to get inside. Got around the keeper, just unable to squeak that one in. Now under a minute to play. Myrtle Beach on attack on the far side. Across midfield. This game was tied 3-3 at the half. The Chiefs have scored five unanswered goals here in the second half, have that 8-3 lead, now less than 30 seconds to play. Myrtle Beach looking to get on the board, works the ball right at the top of the key. Great job by North Myrtle Beach defender, knocks the ball away. Ball's loose, and as it's loose, not sure if it's even going to be picked up. There's four seconds, three, two, one. And there is the final horn, North Myrtle Beach Chiefs, eight to three victors over the Myrtle Beach Seahawks. Back-to-back -back wins for the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs girls lacrosse team. The first two wins in the six-year history of the North Myrtle Beach Chiefs. Great game by the Lady Chiefs. Again, we'll get a shot. Your final, North Myrtle Beach 8, Myrtle Beach 3. 
as the teams meet. Along the sidelines. Folks, thank you for joining me tonight here from the Hank at North Myrtle Beach. We're going to sign off once again. North Myrtle Beach with the big win over rival Myrtle Beach, 8-3. to three. Chiefs win. Again, thank you for tuning in. Have a good night, everyone.